السلام علیکم اینڈ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ بون میرو دس لیکچر از فار بوتھ سیکشن ون اینڈ سیکشن ٹو فورتھ سیمسٹر بی ایس میڈیکل لیبارٹری ٹیکنالوجی مائی نیم از تنویر تارا اینڈ آئی ایم لیکچرار ایٹ سرحد یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ انفارمیشن ٹیکنالوجی بون میرو از اے سافٹ جیلٹینیس ٹیشو دیٹ فلس دا میڈولری کیویٹیز that uh, present in the center of the bone and uh, there are two types of bone marrow one is called uh, red bone marrow and the other one is known as a uh, yellow bone marrow and uh, the bone marrow is the largest most widely dispersed and least homogeneous organ of the body uh, its uh, volume is between 1600 to uh, 3000 uh, cc an adult and uh, nutrients arteries enter the bone through hard bone ducts known as uh, foramina and uh, uh, these arteries branch into the arteries which in turn give rise to a bed of sinusoids these sinusoids substitute for capillary beds found in most of the other organs on uh, this uh, slide we are uh, talk about uh, what is bone marrow so Uh, from the previous slide uh, we know that uh, bone marrow is a gelatinous uh, organ and uh, here we will discuss that bone marrow is the spongy tissue basically it's a spongy tissue inside uh, some of your bone uh, such as uh, your hip bone and uh, thigh bones and uh, it contains stem cells Uh, and uh, you know about the stem cell yesterday we discussed about the stem cell and these stem cells can develop into uh, different cells like red blood cells white blood cells and platelets so the red blood cells that carry oxygen through your body where the white blood cells that fight against uh, uh, infections and uh, we have discussed it that uh, uh, white blood cells are of a five type Uh, like uh, a granulocyte and granulocyte and then we have uh, eosinophil basophil and uh, neutrophil while a granulocytes are lymphocyte and uh, uh, monocyte and uh, uh, we have another uh, cell which is not um, a basically a cell but it is a, a shredding of cytoplasm and that is known as platelet uh, which uh, help with the blood clotting here we have some uh, facts about the bone marrow uh, like bone marrow produce 200 billion new red blood cells every day along with white blood cells and platelet and uh, bone marrow contain mesenchymal and hemopoietic stem cells which are further subdivided into different lineage like red blood cells erythropoiesis leukopoiesis and then um, uh, thrombopoiesis and uh, around 1 uh, lakh people in the united states are diagnosed each year with disease that required bone marrow transplantation to this uh, diagram so uh, here we have a bone cross section uh it's a long bone and long bone cross section showing both red marrow and yellow marrow uh, both types of bone marrow are enriched with blood vessels and uh, capillaries bone marrow makes more than 200 billion cells as we have discussed in the previous slide and uh, most blood cells in the body develop from cells in the bone marrow we already discussed so we have two types of marrow basically one is known as Uh, red marrow and the other one is known as yellow marrow so uh, we have uh, two types of marrow uh, one is known as red marrow and the other one is yellow marrow uh, in latin word the red marrow is known as medulla osseum rubra a uh, rubra is for red color and uh, for red cells of a red color and uh, this red marrow consisting mainly of hemopoietic tissues like red blood cells white blood cells and platelets uh, and uh, these red marrow adipose and marrow is about uh, 50 50 which give a red color color is imparted by heme chromogen as we discussed earlier that uh, we have hemoglobin and uh, that give color of red uh, that is said to be red bone marrow and uh, what are adipose tissue so adipose tissue or fat is an anatomical term for loose connective tissue composed of adipocytes uh, its main role is to store energy in the form of fat 
and uh, on other side uh, we have uh, yellow marrow and uh, yellow marrow is also known as medulla osseum flava and uh, this yellow marrow uh, consists of adipose tissue uh, like uh, thing filled inside uh, and uh, i have already discussed that uh, this is basically uh, they have the role uh, to store energy in the form of fat uh, in adult marrow tissue located in middle portion of the long bone mostly have adipose tissue which impart a yellowish color and this is some uh, marrow tissue but the ratio compared uh, with the uh, adipose tissue is very low uh, the fatty marrow is called yellow bone marrow so obviously we have two types of marrow one is red marrow and the other one is yellow marrow red marrow is responsible for making the cells that are red blood cells white blood cells and platelets where yellow marrow give energy to the uh, bone marrow Adult bone marrow varies from being made up almost of uh, fatty tissues that are uh, yellow marrow and uh, which can be seen in a long bone of adult uh, to almost total hemopoietic tissue that are uh, red marrow uh, which are present in ribs and sternum of young people. In general, the older the person, the more the yellow marrow uh, and that are fatty tissues begins to dominate and uh, it should be remembered however that in the case of need much of the yellow marrow may revert to red marrow which is the hallmark of active hematopoiesis so marrow is a high cellular viscous and highly vascular tissue present within the hollow cavities of hard bone and especially designed to support the proliferation differentiation and maturation of hemopoietic stem cell as we can define the erythropoiesis or hematopoiesis as it is the proliferation differentiation and maturation so the overall micro environment is present in the bone marrow and uh, it is because of the uh, proportion of yellow marrow and red marrow both are simultaneously working and uh, that's why we have a highly appreciated factory for making the red blood cells white blood cells and the platelets so uh, this is a pattern of uh, distribution uh, for hematopoiesis and uh, if you look forward to this uh, diagram so we have cellularity then we have fetal month then uh, birth take place and then at the end of life uh, we have uh, uh, fetal month and uh, in the fetal life uh, yolk steak, liver and spleen are very responsible for the hematopoiesis and uh, then uh, with the passage of time uh, bone marrow developed and then it this responsibility took place by the bone marrow uh, with the age more and more of it's converted to the yellow type only uh, around half of adult bone marrow is red and uh, in adults red marrow is found mainly in the flat bone uh, that are femur and uh, humerus uh, and uh, especially if he finds his end of long bone in the humor or in femur uh, in uh, start hematopoiesis uh, is in the fe fetal liver reaches its peak by uh, third month that is uh, first trimester of fetal development then gradually declines after six months in the second trimester and retaining uh, minimal activity until one to two week after birth so we can say that uh, bone marrow is responsible for uh, the hematopoiesis after birth uh, till the end of the life these are uh, site of hematopoiesis during fetus life uh, up to two months yolk sac is responsible for hematopoiesis then after two to seven months liver and spleen are responsible for the hematopoiesis and uh, after five to nine months bone marrow take place that responsibility and uh, during infancy so practically all bones are responsible because all bones are red marrow and they are responsible for the hematopoiesis and then uh, in adult life all uh, long bones like vertebrae, ribs, sternum, skull, uh, sacrum and uh, pelvis, uh, these are uh, responsible for the uh, hematopoiesis. These are uh, site of hematopoiesis during fetus life 
uh, up to two months yolk sac is responsible for hematopoiesis then after two to seven months liver and spleen are responsible for the hematopoiesis and uh, after five to nine months bone marrow take place that responsibility and uh, during infancy so practically all bones are responsible because all bones are red marrow and they are responsible for the hematopoiesis and then uh, in adult life all uh, long bones like vertebrae ribs sternum skull uh, sacrum and uh, pelvis uh, these are uh, responsible for the uh, hematopoiesis if we look forward to this picture so we have bone celerity uh, that is celerity of hemorrhoidic stem cell and it's compared with the fat cells uh, mean uh, yellow marrow with the red marrow uh, in neonates all bone marrow and uh, liver and spleen are responsible for the hematopoiesis and the celerity is 100 percent where in children uh, child uh, most of bones are responsible uh, because after the birth bones take Take place that responsibility of hematopoiesis and the celerity then uh, 70 to 30 in adult life axial skeleton all long bones are responsible for hematopoiesis and the celerity become 50 50 and uh, during old age uh, these long bone are resp responsible still these are responsible for hematopoiesis but the celerity become decline and uh, that is become 30 to 70 percent it means fatty marrow is higher than the red marrow a general estimate of the expected normal celerity range in adult can be determined by first subtracting the age of the pattern from 100% and uh, the range is then subtracting uh, 10 of that number that is a normal healthy 70 year old should have an overall celerity between 20 to 40%. At the end, uh, we are going to summarizing bone marrow and uh, we came to know that bone marrow is a spongy tissue and uh, this is a highly sophisticated organ uh, which is present in the bone and that uh, spongy tissues is known as bone marrow and uh, this bone marrow is divided into two different types that one is known as uh, osseum flava and osseum rubra, red marrow and yellow marrow and uh, during fetal life liver spleen are responsible for the hematopoiesis and then over a uh, whole life uh, bone marrow that is red marrow are responsible for the hematopoiesis and especially in the red marrow red marrow are present in the long bone like femur and uh, hemor and uh, then we discuss about the um, pattern of distribution that uh, what is the pattern of distribution so in different age the celerity level become uh, diff are different from one another like in uh, uh, during birth all bone are responsible all the marrow are red and then slowly and gradually these uh, this red marrow are converted into the yellow marrow and at the end like in the old age uh, this uh, proportion are approximately 30 to 70 so thank you very much it's uh, uh, enough for today and uh, we will meet in the next lecture inshallah so see you soon inshallah thank you very much